Christ, it's Eddie the Magic Monk. Eddie the Magic Monk. Eddie the Magic Monk. Eddie the Magic Monk. Hey guys, Eddie the Magic Monk just doing a bit of video editing and found a slight problem. And that is this video, okay, that I've been editing and you can see it's already been cut into various segments, is missing an audio track. It had two audio tracks, A1 and A2, and somehow I've done all of this editing and then realized, hang on a second, where is audio track 2? So I did this screen recording where audio track <laughs> one is just audio of me talking. You can hear that. So body type, you can change all these things. if you. So that's me talking. Audio track two is meant to be the audio from the game, which is completely missing. So here's what I discovered. Okay. Yep. It doesn't matter where you, where your playhead is. If you press F on your keyboard, that will allow Premiere Pro to find the source of where this video, this part of the video came from and match it on the source panel. So if I go here, for example, press F, it goes to the source. If I go here and I press F, it goes to the source. Okay, once you're in the source, you can then drag this video onto the clip and you can see that it matches exactly where you are. So for example, if I go here, Press F, drag it in. But even when I drag it in, you can see that it only comes with the exact identical audio track. There were two audio tracks and now there's only one. And the problem is this highlighted bit at the start. If you hover your mouse over it, it will tell you a bit about what it is. It's called source patching. So what source patching does is you can control if you drag a video in from the source panel how many audio tracks do you want to drag in so you're going to have to highlight both a1 and a2 so that when you drag it in it drags two audio tracks in so now it's got both the audio tracks okay so i'm just going to replace the one that i already had drag it in replace it and now I'm all good. All right, alternatively, you can also just drag the audio in. Just drag the audio in and that's got the two audio tracks now. So if I mute that, you can hear a bit of sound in the background. All right, now I can hear the game sound in the background. So that's what this source patching does. Now, a lot of people might get confused with uh, track targeting so what track targeting is so for example if i go v3 i click that what that means is if i copy and paste this clip control c and i paste it somewhere control v it'll be pasted in v3 so that's for copy and pasting but if you want to uh make sure that when you drag something in uh it goes to both audio channels then you need to have um, source patching in the correct uh, highlighted for both audio channels. Now, usually track targeting and audio patching are in the same uh, same layers, just to for just for consistency. All right, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.